this is Artifacts of Mars, and this is the Tyranny Watch News Field Report, coming to you from Lima, New York Country Club, in Lima, New York. It's not far away from where I live. And we are going to, this is a Republican dinner, I'm going to try to interview some Republican candidates about certain issues like the coup that's happening in this country, that type of thing. So stand by. I didn't want to brag about it ahead of time because I didn't know what I was going to be doing today. I wanted to go out hunting. It was too blasted windy. I'll give you a quick look around the place just for documentation. This is Lyman New York Country Club. So for Chuck Plaid check pants plaid republican whatevers country club establishment types I'm not an establishment type I'm anti-establishment this is strictly political so we're uh, gonna go on up and go eat dinner Okay, for documentation, this is Artifax Mars, this is the interior of the Lima Country Club. Doesn't look like I'm going to get talked to any real big wigs. Uh, but, this place is all decorated for Halloween and all that. It's big around here. Okay, this is Artifax Mars. I've left left the dinner, nothing really exciting. Uh, Bob Wiggins. Oh, well, he's been around forever. Keeps getting reelected. He's a Republican. Obviously, these are all Republicans. I got some closing thoughts in a minute. So I'm going to make it out to my car. We'll have a little discussion about what I've learned, which isn't much. Sometimes you can learn more from not learning anything than you can from actually learning. Stand by. Okay. This is Artifacts of Mars with some closing thoughts. I met a uh, New York Supreme Court nominee uh, candidate, whatever, named Bill Taylor. He and then somebody saw a video camera and heard that I wanted to discuss a few things. Boom! He's out of there like crazy. And what I found, it's interesting, like I said, it didn't come out right the last time. You can learn more sometimes when you don't learn anything, even though that seems like a paradox, than when you do learn things. You can learn as much, so let me put it that way. Still didn't come out right. Anyway, despite the fact that it's a Republican dinner, and despite the fact that it's all political, of course, no one wanted to talk about politics. See, I go in there with the attitude, okay, we're here to discuss politics. We're, <laughs> this is political dinner, so why the hell can't we discuss it? Well, these people don't see it that way. I'll just want to vote. When you uh, go up to them and you try to ask the hard questions, shoom, they're out of there! I talked to I tried talking people up and getting conversation on them. They didn't want to talk about politics, which is bizarre given this Republican dinner. Uh, I actually came in a little too early, I think, because there's a bunch of people going in there. They're just ordinary people, despite what you hear on the news. And I'm 
willing to bite your average Democrats the same way. I'm thinking if it was a Democratic dinner, uh, it probably wouldn't be that much difference, to be honest with you. Of course, country clubs are associated with uh, blue blood, plaid pants, Republicans and all that. I understand this. But I'd be willing to bet if you talk to the rank and file Democrats, there's not much difference. The difference is in the kook uh, fringe. The difference is in people like myself who are involved, supportive of gun rights, and you know, want to talk to people about certain issues. They don't want to hear that. I'd be willing to bet if it was a Democrat dinner, it'd be the same thing. I think most of these people are probably pretty liberal. I don't know. I can't prove it. I gotta get my shaggy mane. Sorry for the hair, I gotta get that caught. I tried going to the barber shop, it was like 8 o'clock in the morning, and they just wanted an unbelievable delay. I'm going, now why in the hell are they so busy that early? Oh well. Anyway, those are some closing thoughts. I could tell I made them nervous because I went in there camera in hand and prepared to ask questions and discuss issues. They don't like that. Gee, I thought it was a Republican dinner. I thought it was, you know, there for politics. <laughs> eh, guess a good muster. So, there you have it. I don't think there's that much difference between Republicans and Democrats. You have the fringe on both sides. I realize it. I'm a shotgun-toting backwoods type. I admit it. Of course, I only tote my shotgun out in the woods. Now, if you ever get a dirtbag who's uh, talking about assassinating somebody, they better not say it around me, because they're more than likely going to get turned in. <laughs> you don't do that. Very to end the subject. All right, uh, that's about it. It was peaceful. I knew I was making them nervous. I'm a loner. Um, of course, when people get nervous around me, I get nervous around them. Oh, well, so they're scared of a few political questions. That's the next thing to be banned. Let them ban guns. They're going to ban political discussion next. It's just as dangerous to them. Well, that's about it. I'm Artifacts of Mars. I might go grab my shotgun and head out and chase Mr. Bushytail for a few minutes. I don't know. It was pretty windy all day. They screwed up the forecast. It wasn't supposed to be windy. Supposed to be fairly nice today, but it wasn't. Still, people coming in. There wasn't a lot of people. I might have come too early, and that's why I'm thinking. Uh, these people did not want to be interviewed. They don't want to be interviewed on camera. They want to vote, but they don't want to deal with the hard questions. You know, we fall on. Uh, someone in the coup, they don't want to deal with that. We have problems in the judiciary, like uh, judges. I asked that Bill Taylor about that. About judges legislating from the bench. As soon as he saw the camera, boom! Out of there. Uh, 
liberalism is a mental disorder. I'm artifacts of Mars. Uh, food, food was halfway decent. I better get out of here. I'm making them nervous with my camera and my uh, political leanings. I'm artifacts of Mars. This has been a Tyranny Watch News field report from Lima Cl Country Club in Lima, New York. Thanks for watching.